Let's begin by taking a look at the smallest unit of measure that is used in each event. In this chart, we can see the four primary jurisdictions used in the United States, and the smallest unit of measure that is used in the throwing and horizontal jumping events. Note that while the NCAA requires that metric be the system of measurement, in Rule 6.1.14c, it also requires that the mark be announced in Imperial and metric, and be displayed in Imperial, as well as metric if possible. USA Track and Field, as well as the IAAF, do not permit the use of Imperial measurements, and only use metric. In our example event, we will look at recording marks in a shot put event at the high school, National Federation, level. In this event, there are five competitors. Since this is a high school event, we will be measuring to the lesser one quarter inch. The first thrower, Jones, has an opening throw of 52 feet, 5 and 1 quarter inches. To keep our field sheet clean and clear, we write in the 52, use a dash to separate the inches, and a small superscript 1 to indicate the 1 quarter inch. It is recommended to not use an apostrophe for feet, or quotes for inches, as these markings can be misinterpreted. Keeping the markings simple and clear will not only make for a cleaner sheet, but also for minimizing the chance for confusion later on. We will continue entering marks for the preliminary rounds. Note that to indicate one half inch, we use a superscript 2, think of it as 2 quarters, and for 3 quarters inch, we use a superscript 3. At the conclusion of the preliminaries, we can now determine the order for the finals. In our example, all of the competitors will be advancing. There are several ways to indicate the best mark for each competitor in the preliminaries. Some officials prefer to circle the best mark for each competitor. We would suggest a small, diagonal mark, in the upper right-hand corner of the box that contains the best mark. This is easy and unobtrusive, and minimizes the chance of obscuring part of the mark. After indicating the best preliminary mark for each competitor, we can set the order of competition for the finals. Some officials order the finals from best to worst, using a type of countdown method. Our preference is to order the competitors in the order in which they will compete. We have now completed the final three attempts. To indicate the best mark of each competitor throughout the competition, we now use a diagonal in the upper left-hand corner of the box containing the best mark. This allows us to easily and quickly indicate the best mark in the best column, and to then determine the final placing. In the event of a tie for a place, we indicate the next best mark with a diagonal in the lower right-hand corner of the box containing the mark. By using this method of recording and marking, we have a clean and clear performance sheet that should minimize any problems with entering results into a results system, or for posting to a results board.